Multi contact programming. We will take an example of garage door automation project. A garage door consists of two limit switch. One is close limit switch. One is open limit switch. And the door is fully open. That time open limit switch is gonna give you an output. And when the door is fully closed, at that time close limit switch is gonna give you no output there. Let's see how it works then we will try to program that one so when you are going to start closing the door you will press the button and motor will start closing the door unless it touches the floor there and we have limit switch down there that is indicating close limit of the door let's see how it works when you press the button the motor start and it will start continuing going down like this you will see the simulation how it works you see it's going down it will continue going down in the closing position it is it will be in the closing position unless it touches the ground floor and it will touch the ground floor what will happen that NC contact will be now open because at the start it was normally closed we are getting NC contact now we have con we will configure that NC contact when it will touch the down floor that limit switch is gonna give you an output and that will make that NC contact in open position and that will cut off the supply for the motor there see here motor is turned off now we will program that project for the sequence of closing in the PLC let's move on to the programming part of this project we have two input start motor limit switch that is close limit switch and we have one output motor when we will press the button of the motor there the door will start closing like this you see here when you press the button the door is in closing position and when it touches the ground floor we have a limit switch there that will give you an output when it will give you an output as we will we are discussing before it will stop the motor there let's see we have i0.1 as down limit switch we will simulate it here let's press i0.1 when we will press i0.1 it will cut off the supply for the motor and the motor will be turned off uh, the motor will be stopped here let's see how it works when we stop pressing this one q0.0 is now off that means the output output that is connected that it's actually connected to the motor and that means the motor is off now we will see opening sequence of garage door when you will press open command of the door like we will we have here i0.3 that is open command in the simulator i0.3 is right here when i press i0.3 you see here the output that is q0.1 that is for opening the door and the motor as before it was in forward position now it will move on reverse position to open that door now how long it will continue opening as we discussed before unless it touches the open limit now we have i0.4 open limit we'll try to give that input here we will see that when it we will give an input from the simulator the opening will now stop and the motor will stop continuing opening operation let's see here when I press I 0.4 now the output is off and the motor will be off and that is how we deal with opening and closing sequence of that motor of the crash door now in next lecture we will talk about how to define opening status and closing status signals in the PLC thanks for watching now if in the case you want to see next lectures and more videos on PLC TCS and SCADA and definitely next lecture is coming soon that will consist of uh, what is different type of service we having in DCS and what is OPC server 
and then we will move on towards the programming phase itself also so thank you for watching and if you like the that particular video hit the like button down there it comments if you want to see some particular topic on the topic that you're confused and don't forget to subscribe this channel it will give you advantage whenever we will post some video you will get an email and you will be notified about our new videos thank you for watching